Here we are back in the chunk picker for free to play chunk flip for the first time in five months because we have indeed achieved level 55 magic to cast high level alchemy and level 40 smithing to smelt a gold bar with super heat item and a whole slew of other stuff. Look at us go. 36 out of 36 and it is finally time to roll a new chunk. 152 days later as you can see the last one was april 7th so that's how long i've been working on this quickly to go over the chunks we've gone over this one a few times already the big task here would be to cast fire blast because we would have access to death runes from ice giants and ice warriors that would require level 59 magic so we'd have to grind out four more levels on runes just from drops and then we would have four drop tables to complete because we've already done Guard and Hobgoblin, uh, which are both down in the Asgardian Ice Dungeon. So we would have to do Mugger, Pirate, Ice Warrior, and Ice Giant. Not too bad of a chunk. A lot of actually decent gear upgrades from drops here. So overall, wouldn't really mind this one although it would probably take about a month just to get lucky and get all these drops. Moving on to chunk number two, Port Serum. Also need to cast Fire Blast. The big benefit here is that we would be able to buy the death runes and lots of other runes from the Betty's Magic Emporium. So this would make training, magi ugh, training magic a lot easier, but still the same end goal. We'd be able to get our first adamant weapon from Brian's Battle Axe Bazaar. We'd also be able to start fishing because we'd have access to all these shops, which would be sick. We'd have to bake an anchovy pizza, which I've looked up before is level 55. So a good bit of grinding there. I believe we're sitting at 48 right now. So a little good bit of grinding to get us up to 55. We would finally be able to complete Witch's Potion, which would be cool. We'd be able to start a new quest, and we'd have to kill a few things. But yeah, mainly the, thing, the two grinds here would be the Magic Grind and the Fishing Grind. Chunk 3, we would be able to start the Corsair's Curse. We'd have to kill a Chicken, a Duck, a Highwayman, and obtain some Feathers. This chunk would be so easy we would be done in probably five minutes or less. Ironically though, it is the chunk I want the least. And I'll go ahead and explain why after we go over chunk number four. Chunk number four has a bunch of white knights. So we would have a drop table there. It would have our first bank it would have our first furnace. It would have some quests for us to start. Another general store. And a pub. Man, I am like... Oh yeah, I guess we would be able to... I'm half curious if you can even walk through here without unlocking this trunk. But I... Oh, and I wouldn't be able to go around that way. I am curious if we could even get around to the other side. Um, hmm. Well, if we unlock it, I guess we'll find out. 
but the, the tasks here are mainly the white knight's drop table, like we talked about, and then buying some jewelry and making, or excuse me, yeah, getting making some jewelry because we have access to a furnace. Um, so we'd have to use our magic level to enchant a sapphire amulet. We would also have to, oh yeah, there it is, craft a sapphire amulet. So we would have to get our crafting up too. Not sure what crafting level that takes, but we're currently sitting at level one. So that's probably a pretty decent grind there. And I'm not sure how many methods we would have access to. I know we can spin wool because we have some sheep and a loom. But yeah, that could actually be a decent grind as well. Not really one that I'm too scared of. And there's a lot of positives to this junk, so I wouldn't mind getting this one either. Still hoping to get Port Serum next, I believe. But this one is honestly just as good. It offers so many similar perks, plus the addition of having a bank, which would be awesome. Uh, and now to talk about why we don't want number three. We don't want number three because... The last thing in the world I want to happen is to unlock this chunk here that I put the big eye on before we unlock chunk number four. And this is why. If you look down at this list, we would have to smith all the way up to adamant because there is adamant ore in this dungeon over here. And if we unlock this chunk before we unlock the furnace that is in Balador, which now I'm also wondering, can we even walk there? But that's a whole nother question. Then we would have to smith our way all the way up to being able to make an adamant plate body just off of the same way getting nature runes that we just did to get all the way to level 40 except adamant plate bodies as you can see here require level 88 that would be huge pain like i can't even describe and quite genuinely might be such a bad grind that i might never finish it <laughs> so if we are to unlock chunk number three next, then my heart is going to be racing for our next chunk roll because that is as bad as it gets. So I am really, really hoping to avoid number three right now. If we get number four, we would still have to make, if we get number four first, we would still have to make that adamant plate body. So it's a huge grind still, but we would have access to the furnace. So we wouldn't have to superheat our way to level 88 we would be able to just normally mine we would also be able to buy a rune pickaxe in the basement here so yeah it would be a long grind one that i don't want to do at all i've never got to 88 smithing for a reason because once you get to level 60 smithing it's a huge pain in the butt so i don't really want to deal with this chunk anytime soon um but i truly don't want to deal with it before i have access to the bank and the furnace because that could actually be account ending. With all that said though, I would like to keep playing RuneScape tonight and I have nothing else to do. So I need to roll this chunk and figure out what my next tasks are. So we're gonna do it. And we are just going to hold our breath and now for the first time I truly understand the pain that other people, other YouTubers go through, like Limpward and such, when they're rolling their new chunks and realizing what the potential grinds are and how long they could take. I, I know the fear and the pain now, because this one makes me fearful. But the time for waiting is over. After five months of hard work, it's finally time to pick a chunk.
Port Sarim. Okay. That was kind of the one I wanted, like we talked about. It does not solve my furnace or nature rune issue, but it has so many positives for the account. I'll get to complete my first quest. Oh yeah, this is great chunk, and it doesn't bring me any closer to this. And because of this fence here and our lack of agility, our next chunk roll will look just like this. So yeah, doesn't actually unlock any new chunks for us unless we could use some of these boats. I will have to look into that. We might be able to use some of these boats. Chunk tasks. Wield an adamant weapon, which is easy. We already have 30 attack. So we just gotta go buy one. Level 55 cooking was correct to bake an anchovy pizza. Level 15 fishing to catch raw anchovies to put on said pizza. And level 59 to cast fire blast, but we get to do it using our cash deck and just buy runes. How freaking nice. So adamant battle axe is what we'll have to buy. Starting pirate treasure, finishing which is potion, killing a seagull, a thief, another thief, and a woman. Not bad at all. Some really, actually handy grinds to uh, get out of the way. I'll make great use of that magic level and that cooking level. Oh, we're gonna have food for days now, whenever we do inevitably get the dungeon. Yeah, this is just a great chunk. Wanted this one a long time ago, but I'll take it now. It feels like a great reward after a hard five months of work to get it. So let's get down into the chunk. I had to go back and add this in because the support that I've gotten in January from the video and the short have just been amazing. A big thank you from me to you for all the views, likes, comments, and subscriptions. Whether you're just stumbling across the series now or you've been following along and just haven't taken the time to hit that button, please consider doing it now. Every time someone does, it really helps the content reach more people and as a RuneScape player, I like seeing numbers go up. I mean, that's pretty much the whole game in a nutshell, right? Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. The town of Port Seiram. A beautiful chunk with so many benefits for us. Our account, we finally get to unlock it. So let's do it. If I can remember how, it's been so long. I think I have to do that again, don't I? Yes. There it is. I'm telling you right where we're going first thing. We're walking straight into this magic shop and we're going to complain that they couldn't have moved themselves just over here to make our lives a little bit easier. Look at this place. Look at all these runes. You can just buy these. It's amazing. Who's this guy? Bot, probably. Cool. Anyway, yeah. This is so handy. I'm going to buy an Eye of Newt. And I'm going to go finish with my first quest. Man, I don't even remember what we need. Let's look at this thing. We need rat's tail, onion, burnt meat. Easy, easy, easy. Let's go murder a giant rat, as if we have not done this one trillion times. Yo, bro, I need your meat again. And this should be the last time, because guess what? Look, I have access to a food shop. I don't have to live off of rat and cow meat anymore. What a luxury. And you all know where we get onions. We spent way too much time in this field eating cabbages like someone who ain't got nothing else to eat. So let's go grab an onion. They were never useful to us. Finally it is. And is that the only three things I need? Pretty sure this quest also ironically gives you magic XP, which is great. Rat's tail. Yeah, like we couldn't have used magic XP in the last jump. I mean, we need it now. We gotta get to 59, so. I shouldn't complain. I'm just being somewhat bitter because I'm finally done now, so. Holy bots, look at these people. Steven, Steven, Steven. 
listen, you can't be here. You're a bot. They also look very broken. Just wandering around in circles. Let's get a rat. Guess we can turn these roofs back off. And then we gotta go cook and then burn this meat and we'll have everything we need. This feels great to do. I really like playing a chunk account for this reason because like I spent so much time here and there was just content locked behind items I didn't have and finally completing that chunk um, I opened myself up to a whole new set of items and just like that we can uh, complete this quest which is awesome I passed the ingredients she closes her eyes and does some magic stuff drink from the cauldron that doesn't seem shady it tastes horrible but I feel powerful boom done first quest point and indeed 325 magic XP so look at this big moves we are here at Brian's Battle Axe Bazaar to cross off another item from the list. Got a Wield A Adamant Battle Axe. Only 4,160 coins. We got that easy. Holy bots. Sheesh. There it is. Equipped. Another luxurious task completed. In our travels exploring the trunk, we came across Redbeard Frank here, who actually has a quest for us to start called Pirate's Treasure. He wants us to bring a bottle of rum from Karamja. The interesting part is they don't let you take it off, so you have to smuggle it off if you've never done the quest. And our job is to figure out how to get it off. The implication for our account is that this is Karamja over here. We actually already have like a dock area unlocked, but when we go to unlock our next chunk, we will actually be able to add this chunk to the list of available chunks to roll because we can now actually take this boat over. Doubt there's anything for us to do just on the dock here. We'll go check that out later, but that is a neat little thingy for us. Goodbye, Faithful Steel Scimitar. Thanks for the probably 7,000 hobgoblin kills that you helped us get. Uh, we are moving on to the Adamant Battle Axe now, though. And we're going to get right into the fishing grind now that we have a net. So here I am getting my first inventory of fish, and I noticed my experience bar was partially full, so I looked at my fishing level and realize that I'm already level 15 all from the Evil Bob random event, which is the fishing level required to catch anchovies, and indeed we have already caught some anchovies. So accidentally completed a chunk task before I even knew it existed and got level 16 for good measure. Um, yeah, so that's kind of funny. First level on the way to 55, level 49 cooking. Members can do cool stuff that we can't. Still kind of theory crafting what the best method is gonna to be to get to 55, but just knocking out a free level while I have the chance. Absolutely huge realization here. There is a bank deposit box here, which means I may not have access to a bank yet, but I can chuck anything I want in here, and we should have access to a bank in the near future up here in Falador. Could even be the next chunk. Uh, so all the food that I have to cook and anything extra that I don't want to go to waste, I uh, chuck in here and we'll get to use it again later. Fire runes obtained, which means I can high alka this gold bar for 56 magic. This is the Remington General Store. 
This is the Remington General Store on Bots. Any questions? Just baking some stews and we got level 50. We can now cook chocolate cake, which we could actually do. Uh, imps are our only source of eggs, which is really frustrating. Otherwise, I'd probably be making cakes right now. So we may or may not do that just for fun. But five more levels to go until we can cook an anchovy pizza. So if you take a look at the inventory here, we have been slowly emptying it as we work on our cooking grind, which we're about to hit level 51. We've been holding on to this beginner clue scroll for a long time, but once I use up the last of these runes, if I also get rid of the beginner clue scroll, I'll have room for one more stew per trip. So worth the time save, I think, that we'll have. And then I might start doing pizzas too, which is going to take even more inventory spots. So we are going to shoot our shot and hope that this is a one step completion, which is only a 10% chance, sadly. I'm pretty sure I just made that number up on the spot, but as you can see from this screenshot, with only 1 out of 37 steps possible with my current chunks, I'm actually sitting at 0.3% instead of 10% to actually get a one-step casket. Just wanted to clarify that now because it will come up again later. If we were on step 2, we would have 45% chance to complete, and clue juggling is probably in the cards in the future but I'd like to take a break from hobgoblins for obvious reasons, because we just finished killing 13 or 14,000. So yeah, we're just gonna see what happens. If we get lucky, great. If we don't, no worries. We will get more clue scrolls later. 10% chance. What do we got here? Ah, new clue. I guess there is an even smaller chance that it could be the exact same clue back to back. Very unlikely. Southwest Farrock. Yeah, no luck there. Wasn't really expecting it. Would have been nice, but not going to break my heart. And we will try again later. 51 cooking. 52 cooking. 53 cooking. We got levels coming in hot, 54 cooking, one more to go. Big old moment here, we just picked up our last potato to make our last batch of stew. That is assuming we don't burn an unmathematically feasible amount of them. But yeah, this grind really wasn't too bad. The method that I took was buying potatoes from the store, getting rat meat from the spawn right here, the two spawns, and then running over here, buying the bowls, cooking, getting rat meat, dropping off everything in the bank deposit, buying potatoes and starting over, and I used my, I just used Water Blast that whole time. I bought, I believe, a thousand of everything when I first started. A thousand of uh, all the runes. So yeah, I used just about all of them. That was the amount I needed. And we are only 2,500 XP off of 57 magic. So that's good stuff. Didn't quite get us a level, but we were we had just started 56 when I started this, so it's honestly really close to a full level just from uh, water blasting. So that was a good use of time and helped me get the magic level up a little bit and check off one of the chunk tasks, level 55, ma not magic, cooking, because we can now cook anchovy pizzas. We still have to actually cook one, so we'll do that next, but obviously hard part is grinding out these levels and that is done now and I didn't count but I probably uh, have banked close to 500 stews would be my guess uh, we won't find out until we unlock a bank uh, they they heal 12 HP each which 
is not bad at all. So whenever we do get a hold of them, most likely when we unlock this Falador trunk, we'll have access to this bank here. Uh, unless we somehow get access to an, a brown apron before this trunk, I don't think that's going to happen. But I guess it is possible. So yeah. Next clip. Well, that's not a good shot at all. Next clip will probably be me cooking that anchovy pizza that we can now make with level 55. And then we will call that chunk test complete with one left to go, which would be three, basically two more levels of magic. So I need to do a little bit of theorizing, theory crafting there and decide what is going to be the cheapest and most effective way for me to grind out two more magic levels. Well, that's easier than I thought. I assumed we could fail cooking these, but looks like you cook the pizzas and the anchovies separate, so that's pretty sweet. So there it is, six anchovy pizzas baked. That didn't take too long. It's a nice uh, marker to have. This will give us good access to food when we have future combat grinds. So something handy to get out of the way. Something that I had been keeping my eye on was the jewelry store over here. There are some amulets that we have the magic level to enchant. They're not chunk tasks necessarily because they are not in stock by default, but players can sell them. And since uh, my account is not technically an ultimate Iron Man, I can purchase them. And I figured why not take advantage of that? These shops do not usually have them in stock, but I world hopped every once in a while and would just log in and check and eventually I found this one. So now I need to go grab some runes and I'll have myself an amulet of magic for the rest of this magic grind. It always feels good to get a gear upgrade on the account. That is the amulet of magic acquired. As the last chunk requirement well the level we need to complete the last chunk requirement I should say because we can now cast fire blast so we're gonna head over to a Betty's magic Emporium and slap on our magic gear along the way grab some death runes and where else would we go to cast this death blast except for hobgoblins i mean come on guys it's just obvious and here it is the casting of fire blast who wants it this guy looks like he wants it what are we gonna hit a one epic a six what if we oh wow we stabbed him and nine that's better It'd be kind of funny if we couldn't even get the kill with the ten death runes but we did casted fire blast with level 59 magic to complete the Port Serim chunk. Really useful chunk. Got to finish our first quest. Got to start another one. We do actually... We will actually be able to use... Where is it? This boat. To get to 
this dock over here, which means this chunk on Karamja is actually available to be unlocked next, which is cool. Along with the Asgardian Ice Dungeon, which you guys are well familiar with at this point. And Southern Falador Farm and Falador itself. Those will be the next chunks that we can unlock. If anyone was wondering why this one hasn't been available, if you see this white line here, this is a fence and this is a members only area starting right here. So can't get up into that area just yet. But with that, we've completed another chunk. Pretty exciting stuff. We will jump straight into a chunk roll in the beginning of the next episode. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.